With your customers demanding new and better experiences, you're being forced to rethink how you deliver software. Traditional delivery life cycles such as Waterfall, which can last months or even years, are no longer good enough. What you really need is an agile, end-to-end -end continuous delivery software factory to keep up with the pace of change in today's competitive economy. And the key foundation is built on quality. So automation becomes a key principle in accelerating the value and the speed and lowering the cost of delivering these new software applications. But we can't just do automation without thinking about quality. If we just automate and don't think about quality, all we're doing is accelerating our existing problems into production. But when I think about quality and raising the bar, the easiest thing to think about first is testing. When we test, we're verifying that the software we've built is fit for purpose and meets the business requirements that we started with. And so let's have a quick look about what we need to do even to be able to test some new capability we've built. For me, there are three things. The first thing is we need to create an environment where we can test. So when we think about that, what do we need? We need a build of our new application. We need an environment provisioned that we can deploy it to so we can test it. We need to configure that environment appropriately. And then we need to surround that application by the downstream services and third-party services that it needs available so we can test it. Now, hopefully, most of those downstream and third-party systems we can virtualize or simulate so that we don't have to spend the time and the money and have the delays in making them available. But in some cases, we can't, and we need real third-party or downstream systems, in which case we need the right data. We need the right test data for those. And we need to have that data when we need it all the time, just in time. Step two, we need a test execution framework. We need the ability on demand to execute the tests we want against that application at all the different layers. And not just at the UI, whether that be mobile or web, but at the API levels and all the way down through the technology stack. So can we run automated testing top to bottom? And thirdly, we need to think about what tests are we running? Because it's when we start asking those questions, what coverage do I have? How much negative testing am I doing? Am I testing the right requirements? That we start really raising the bar on quality. In some cases, 50% of the defects we find on our projects are nothing to do with bad coding or misconfigured environments. They're actually to do with ambiguously defined and misunderstood requirements. So if we really want to raise the bar on quality, we need to think about defining better understood requirements. And the best way to do that is by modeling our requirements visually so we can share those requirements between the different cross-functional stakeholders, the business, the business analysts, the developers, the testers, who all need to come together to collaborate well to ensure that we are testing the right things. So in order not just to survive but to thrive in the application economy, we need to be doing agile. We need to be using continuous delivery in our tool chain. And we need to be making quality a first-class principle that underpins that. Mm -hmm.